Hello friends. Today I couldn't be absolutely arsed doing a makeup video because I was working and I feel like chicken curry is still stuck to my skin until I have a shower. So I work in a restaurant if that makes any sense. And I thought I'd just show you my favourite eye makeup brushes. Well like not my, they're not my all, all of them but they're like kind of multi-purpose as well so if you get them it's not like they only work for one part of your eye makeup and they seem like a waste of money because you can actually use these for a couple of things so anyway, the first one is the 224 brush from MAC now this is quite expensive I didn't realize it was like 20 it's like 20 euro I didn't think it would be that expensive and I went up and she like the woman at the till was like oh yeah so it's like 20 whatever euro and I was like oh fuck but I didn't want to say didn't want to be like, oh no, it's okay, I won't take it then. So I was like, okay, I'll just pay for it and use it a lot. But anyways, it's really, really good for, obviously, it's meant to blend as a blending brush. So uh, you can use it like for blending up here and whatever around the edges. But I always use it for my concealer. So I use the Studio Finish Concealer and it's like in a little pot. So you just like rub it in it and then, you know, I have... Asia here on my skin so yeah I tend to rub it on that um then yeah I use like everywhere like you can blend like all your concealer around also I didn't think you could use it for this but um then the girl in the shop was like oh you can also use it for highlighting up here because it's like quite small so you dipped it in whatever I use eyeshadows to highlight sometimes so I can use like this one here which is Shroom from MAC you just rub it in smile and put it on there so it's handy for that as well so it's not like when you're spending the money you can kind of think of like their MAC brushes are such good quality as well so they'll last you forever if you take care of them properly like if you clean them and obviously don't rip them around the place um, <clears throat> so sometimes brushes are really worth the investment because they do make a huge difference to your makeup then my next one is obviously the 217 from MAC. It's my favourite brush. I didn't show this one up close. This one is like, that's the 224. Um, <clears throat> this is like the holy grail of brushes for me. It's so dirty, sorry. Um, I You can use it to put down your eyeshadow on your lid. You, then you can use it to blend, as I said, the wipers on the car. That's, you know, that motion. Like that, you can, some people use it for concealer. Like literally, world is your oyster. Um, <clears throat> it's just beautiful. I'm just so in love with it. It's just such a good blending brush. Um, then I couldn't live without an angle brush. This is from Eco Tools. I ref I think the reason I don't like my two six six two two six two six six two six six brush from MAC is I think it's probably because I use it just so much that it's not as like it's kind of the bristles aren't as tight as they used to be so this one is just really stiff like this isn't like it's kind of gone soft so I use this for my eyebrows because it kind of gives a sharper line um, rather than looking like you just drew a big thick line of eyeshadow on your eyebrows which could look kind of interesting um, I don't use angle brushes for gel eyeliner myself because I just find it impossible. I don't know why. Um, but you could definitely use it for gel eyeliner, any eyeliner, putting it under. Also, if you are really nifty, you could try and if you do put on lipstick with um, brushes, which most people don't, but if you do, you could use this. And it's a really good, like, for like getting the pointy corners and stuff so multitasking at its best then this isn't really a multitasking brush but I just love it so much my 209 brush I'd be lost without it because I'm a big gel eyeliner wearer and if I didn't have it I'd be absolutely lost so they're my favourite brushes and then I just wanted to show you I went to work today and then after I was like oh I need retail therapy which is always a bad thing because my retail therapy isn't just buying one item, it's, you know, 
getting your car declined in River Island, which has happened to me on occasion. But anyways, didn't get declined this time. I went to, well, I went to Topshop first, but these are the shoes I got in River Island. Now, if you've ever been to River Island recently, you'll know these shoes, they're like divine. And I don't know what the hell is wrong with the color in this camera, but it just doesn't show them. Because my room is red, those flowers are supposed to be red, and so are the curtains, but I don't know. Anyways, these are turquoise, and they were the last pair in the shop. There's a sale on River Island, and <coughs> it's actually unbelievable. Um, these are six, and I was seven, but I was like, hey, beauty is pain. I will wear these. Like, they actually, they do, they do fit okay, but I have a feeling I'm going to break my ankle sometime in them. Especially trying to walk up Shop Street in high shoes or like shoes that you're not really steady in while intoxicated. Intoxicated isn't always the best idea. Then I got Top Shop also have a sale and I got, I always find that like big bags around September for college and stuff, they're really expensive. They're always around like the 50 euro to 70 range. So I was like, oh, this is pretty nice. This is like a brown bag. Um, it was reduced from 55 to 30. Um, for people who are in Galway right now, there's, I think there's like a couple of these left. I'm not sure there are. It's so nice. It's like brown here and cream and it's friggin' huge. You can put your life in it. And I think I'll bring it with me on the plane when I'm going to Ibiza in August. Um, I got this cardigan. It's, mm, it's not gonna show up. Anyways, it's kind of like a burnt orange color, kind of ready. And it's just a long, big cardigan, nothing too exciting. I got the most delicious earrings in the world. Well, they're not as delicious as my blue ones, blue feather ones, but they're so gorgeous. Like, I saw them and I was like, okay, I'm gonna marry them, that's legal. Um. They were half price from 20 euro 50. I wouldn't pay 20 euro for them. I just, I used to be a big spender and then I realized I can't justify buying like a little stringy material top in Topshop for 40 euro. It's just, I used to, I used to be like, oh, it's fine. I'll wear it loads, but it's just kind of extortionate pricing, I think. Student discount is beautiful though. It got like, get 10% off and just does make such a difference but um these are these shorts I got and these weren't on sale but like I mean lads they're actually divine you just couldn't say no to something like this they are 52 but I mean worth it because I'll wear them loads in Ibiza and I wear them in town as well like going to town and stuff as well with tights and boots and whatever so I promise I will wear them it's not just me spending money for the crack. Anyways, I'm going to go and go and have a shower and get rid of my chicken curry smell. And I will be back soon. Oh, and tomorrow I think I'm gonna do this vlog thing on this new thing on whitening your teeth with strawberries and baking soda, which should be interesting. And I'm probably gonna look like the ultimate tool, but you're used to this at this stage, so goodbye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, etc. And goodbye.